So welcome to today's session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just a second. Just need to inform. OK, so uh, please introduce yourself to me. Uh, my name is Vashpal and I live in Guwahati. Here okay. I am doing service in a government office. Okay. And I want to learn spoken English. I want to speak well in English. That's why I'm here. Okay, so I think this is a place that will surely help you to gain a great experience and expertise in this field especially. So welcome here. And uh, I think you must have, uh, you have your student panel where you get to know what is the topic that we, you have for today. So whenever a session starts, either you, we can continue our conversation with the general topic or we can go with the topic that is present there. Okay. Okay. So, so the topic that we have okay. for today is travel. So would you like mm -hmm. us to go with the topic or go with the general conversation? Okay, I would prefer general conversation. Okay, that's great. So uh, you told me that you are from Guwahati, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, recently, a year back, my friend, one of my friend got admitted there. So she used to tell me about uh, the experiences she have, she has there. So can you tell me the, if is there is uh, any special thing about Guwahati, anything that is special that distinguishes Guwahati from some other place? Uh, special thing is that here we it's a cosmopolitan city, so here are so many okay. uh, I mean people from different parts of country lives here, okay. and different races, religions, so they cohabit peacefully. And okay. other things like we have a large river beside our uh, city that is Brahmaputra called Brahmaputra, and here we have a famous temple that is Kamakha Temple. So people okay. when come from other parts of the country, they always uh, say they come for different work here. So they uh, always make it a point to visit the temple. So it's a very famous, even the celebrities like film stars or cricketers, whenever they have come here, they always uh, visited uh, this place. So it's a very famous temple and other places, I don't think there is any uh, distinguished uh, elements are there to be mentioned. But in okay. other parts of Assam, always is there, say, like Kajiranga National Park. Yes. Uh, that is not in Guwahati, but in Assam. And okay. there is uh, another uh, thing to be mentioned is mm -hmm. we have uh, this island, River Island. It is the okay largest river island in the world that we have in our place, Assam, that is called Majuli. Okay. So these are the thing, unique thing that I can mention. Okay, okay, that really sounds interesting and I hope I also get to visit there someday or the other. So uh, can you please tell me, are you particularly from Guwahati itself or you are from some other place and you, are, you have been settled there for your job or any other reason as such? Yes, uh, yeah, right. Uh, I am from a separate place uh, that is called Dumduma, and it's, it's uh, just uh, 500 kilometers away from this place that is in Guwahati. And here I came here in search of a job, and now I have settled here. Yeah, right. Okay, that's great. That's great. So you told me that uh, you work for a, uh, you are a government employee, right? So yeah. can you uh, just mention what is the uh, place or what field you particularly work for? Uh, I am in a uh, department that is called Indian Audit and Accounts Department. So okay. here I am working in the capacity of Eastern Accounts Officer. That is my designation. And okay. it's a, a kind of supervisory post. So there are uh, people under you, so you get report from them. And there are people uh, in the higher authority, you have to uh, report back to the higher authorities, whatever is happening under your control. So this is how it works. OK, OK, that's great. I think that demands a lot of concentration and uh, uh, things that 
I think you uh, try to give them and I think that is great. So uh, can you tell me like uh, uh, what is the any other language are you aware of or do you speak as I think their uh, people speak Assamese or there is some other yes. language. If I'm right. Yes, yes, right, right. So here in Assam, Assamese is the prominent language. So I know Assamese and my mother tongue is Bengali, so I can speak Bengali and Hindi is always there. So Hindi is also so Hindi, Assamese, uh, Bengali, and now I'm learning English. So four languages. OK, so I think you have earlier been to Bengal or maybe your childhood have been there in Bengal. So, you know, Bengali also, right? No, no, no. I have been to Bengal for some occasions for traveling purpose like that, but no other uh, connection with Bengal is there with me. Yeah. So I have been born and brought up here in Assam only, but there are so many uh, people who are Bengalis. So automatically, and I studied in Bengali medium school, so I know Bengali. OK, OK, so you had started in uh, uh, Bengali medium school. That's great. I think your zest for knowledge uh, of something or gaining something led you to le learn this language. And I think that's great. If a person is having expertise and knowledge of lot of things apart from what they're speaking and listening, then that is great for them. So uh, can you tell me about your education? You uh, did your education from there itself, right? Guwahati, if I'm correct. Not Guwahati, the place that I told you, it is yeah, called yeah. Dumduma. So I studied there and my education column is become. OK, so uh, you did from that place only, right? Yes, yes. OK, OK, that's great. So uh, can you tell me, is there some other thing you like doing apart from what you are doing in your life? Like uh, everyone has kind of hobbies. Do you like pursuing or doing something else apart from the daily things that you do? Like uh, maybe it's reading books or playing something or interacting with some sort of people. Is there something like that? Mm, now I am doing only this. Uh watching videos on YouTube, then web series in English, uh, particularly English contents and reading books in English language and okay. interacting with the tutors that I am doing now with you like that. These yeah, are the that's... only things I am doing. OK, OK, that's great. That's great. I feel like this is uh, one of the most important thing because uh, what you want to learn, what you want to pursue if you are doing that. And I think that is one of the most important and a very good thing. So uh, I uh, can you tell me uh, when did you decide when did you decide that uh, you should go ahead with uh, learning and uh, pursuing your your English thing like you should go with uh, English learning thing or exploring the ways present in English or trying to, you know, mix and mingle with this English language. OK, so it has always been in me that I would uh, like to speak in English, but I did not have the opportunity. Uh, there was nobody there. Even now, also there is nobody that I can speak with in English in our neighborhood or in my office. So as you as I told you that I studied in Bengali media school, so Obviously, there was nobody that I could speak in English, even in college also. So after passing out from college, then I saw some people are speaking in English in some places. Then I felt a bit nervous and embarrassed also because sometimes somewhere they asked me something, but I even though I did know the answer, but I could not give reply because of my language problem. Then I thought that I must, uh, this is my weakness and I must win over it and I should make it a my strong point. But what I did actually, I did not know that at that time. I concentrated on writing actually. So I used to read newspaper, magazines and whatever new word that I came across, I wrote down and make sen made sentences. But what happened that I use all of them in writing, but I never try to speak. So I didn't have the idea that if I don't speak, I will never develop this skill of spoken English. So what I develop is that I could write, I can write now very well that I have that confidence. Whatever comes my way, I will write it's because I have the practice in writing at my office also. But when it comes to uh, speaking, I don't have anything, nobody I can speak with. 
then during this uh, coronavirus period, that is lockdown period, yes. so I came across one app that is, you might have heard that, Clippingo. So yes, yes. I good. joined Clippingo and there I uh, met so many uh, tutors and gradually I gained confidence and I have started speaking a little now. So that's how it I have reached here. Okay, okay. That's great. So you already um, have done it, but I think uh, that is what makes a person more capable and more like uh, as my parents or anyone else have always told us that knowledge is never a lot of things. Even if you are learning and knowing a lot of things, you cannot say that you have learned and known everything. There is yes. something that is still left because uh, knowledge isn't just limited into something, be it anything that we have in our lives. Yes, yes, right. Yes. So uh, I think that is uh, one thing great. So uh, what do you think according to you? As you told me that you feel like you are very good at writing. And do you read books? You like reading books? Yes, yes. Uh, recently I have seriously started reading books because of this only. Because if I continue to read books, the I will be familiar with the sentences that we use in our daily life. So yes, that's absolutely. why I'm reading. Yeah. Okay, so uh, is there any particular category of book uh, you like reading or you have explored uh, as of now? Or uh, you feel like uh, uh, like reading random books or now you're just into this area and you are just seeing or exploring how the things are? Is there any class of books that you'd li like to read yes, or uh, any books you wish to read in future? No, I like to read uh, non-fiction books. Okay, not so, uh, particularly the self help book like okay. uh, Power of Subconscious Mind, yes, and other this kind of book. So, I like okay. non fiction and self helping book. Okay, okay, that's great. I think uh, uh, I had last two uh, classes that I had was uh, with again a Bengali, uh, not a Bengali, she, uh, she was a ma'am, she was from uh, uh, Guwahati itself. She also worked in some American based IT company. So uh, she told me uh, so many things about Guwahati and the culture about uh, there. So I think I'm getting to interact with people from there and that is very good. So okay. yes, that is great. Yes. I also uh, watch uh, one or two videos of yours uh, on YouTube. So that's uh, when I saw you and the way you teach, the way you talk with the uh, learner. So I liked it. Then I thought that I would take some session with you. So today I got the chance to interact okay. with you. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I think that's a very good compliment. And uh, uh, recently, uh, again, uh, recently, some of uh, the uh, people who I gave my uh, tutorings to, they have also complimented and these things really make my day. And thank you so much. That is all uh, all of yours blessings and everything. So yes, uh, uh, that is great. So uh, we are about to end our session. So I would like to give some feedback regarding yes, the sure. conversation that we had. So would you like to take that? Yes, yes sure. I would like to okay. hear that. Yes. So coming to the feedback thing, I don't think there is a lot of thing that needs to be improved. But as we discussed that uh, uh, this is not limited and uh, confined to a particular place. So I think as you said, you are reading and exploring books. So when you are reading books, uh, try to uh, uh, read them little slowly. Don't go on reading them fast. Just uh, try to understand words, sentences. And I think you're already doing that because yeah. there is not a lot of uh, um, improvement required, I feel. And your mother tongue is uh, uh, Assamese, I think. No, no, Bengali. Yeah, it is Bengali. So uh, there is not, uh, I, do, I did not feel that uh, your accent had affected English a lot on in any manner. Your accent is very near to perfection. Like uh, your English accent or the way you are pronouncing things is really good. But all you can do is just keep on practicing because you will always improve on what you are doing. So uh, okay. that is all I wanted to say. <coughs> yes. So, okay, so uh, you have given, uh, you have said so many good words, uh, <laughs> encouraging words for me. Yeah, I'll definitely try to do more. Yes, yes. 
that's great and uh, uh, yes this was all for today thank you so much for interacting with me and thank you this. thank okay. you okay thank you bye good night yeah bye good night